Hello and a very warm welcome to the Total Energies BWF Thomas and Hugo Cup Finals 2020. We are in beautiful Aarhus, second largest city in Denmark, where the forest, the sea and the city meets in perfect harmony. Aarhus was designated European Capital of Culture in 2017 under the theme Let's Rethink. The port of Aarhus is the largest container port in Denmark and has the capacity to handle the largest ships in the world. 31 teams from all corners of the globe are participating. 16 teams from Asia, 9 from Europe, 2 from Africa, 2 from Oceania and 2 teams from Pan America. Group play until Thursday this week before we reach the sharp end of the tournament, playing quarterfinals, semi-finals and finals end of the week on Sunday day 9. And the tournament is played in four groups of four teams. The top two teams in each group qualifies for the knockout stage and a new draw is made for the quarterfinals. The group winner will be seeded and be drawn against one of the runners-up in the other groups. In other words, you cannot draw the same team you have played in the group. And we are having a very very busy program with three sessions a day morning afternoon and evening and we will turn our attention to the group decider in the uber cup group d on court one between china and denmark and here we got the group huddle from china a very very strong team in my book Absolutely favourites to take the title here at uh, the Uber Cup, and to do so, they need to give themselves the best possible chance by winning the Group D in tonight's encounter against Denmark. And here we've got the Group Huddle from Denmark. I can tell you that the Danish players are in great spirits. And what are we fighting for? Victory, they shout it. And the order of play for today, starting with uh, the first women's singles, Herbin Jiao came fourth at the Olympics against Elina Kristoffersen, the silver medalist from the European Championship. Second match on this, the first women's doubles, Chen Jingjian and Jia Yifan, silver medalist from the Olympics 2020 against Amelia Melon and Fai Rang, the two 21-year-olds. Third match on is the second women's singles, Wang Si Yi, immensely talented player against Lina Kersfeld. Fourth match, the second women's doubles, Wang Dongping and Li Wenmei reformed for this tie against Denmark, against Alexander Boyer and Mede Poulsen. Finally, it's the women's singles, the third women's singles, Han Yue against Julia Deval Jakobsen. And that is a rematch from the World Junior Championship five years ago, 2016. The first match on is Herbing Jia, and uh, she is playing at Lena Christofferson. And we will very shortly have the players on to court. And the first player on to court is Herbin Jiao from China. She is presently ranked as number nine in the world. It's a very, very talented and skillful left-handed player. And on her good days, she can make it very, very difficult for anyone in the world. Her opponent, from Denmark is Lena Kristoffersen, just 21 years of age. Is steadily improving on the world ranking uh, day by day, I would almost say. And today she's uh, number 23 on that world ranking. And uh, she has just been improving all the time over the past three or four years. 
And you can see there are no head-to-heads between these two players. First time they meet. And Nina Christofferson is winning the toss. I am not entirely sure whether Lina chose to serve, but I'm quite sure that uh, Herbing Jiao chose ends. Jiao is 24 years of age. I have got to 169 centimeters tall, but uh, let's not talk about that. Um, as I mentioned, she is presently number nine on the world ranking, and that's based on 20 tournaments. Best ever, she has enjoyed 14 weeks as world number six, and last time that was on the 30th of July 2019. Her opponent from Denmark, Lina Christofferson, age 21, and uh, she is enjoying her best ever ranking at 23, been spending the last two weeks as number 23. On top of that, she is uh, number one on the list on the race to the HSBC finals, the World Tour finals end of the year, and she is born in Dianalon in Denmark. Well, it is just about an hour's drive from Copenhagen. It's a very tall order for the young Dane, but uh, I am sure she's looking very, very much forward to this match. Our umpire for the match is uh, Rajiv of India, and the service judge is Schroeder of Germany. The teams are sure to qualify for the quarterfinals, but it is immensely important to end top of the group because that will give you a much better draw when it comes to the quarterfinals. Both teams have left out their first women's singles. For China, it's uh, of course the Olympic champion, Chen Fei. And for Denmark, it's Mia Blickfeldt. And furthermore, Denmark has left out the first women's doubles. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Denmark, represented by Lena Christopherson. And on my left, China, represented by Ha Bing Jiao. Denmark to serve, love on. Christopherson get this match underway and this is what we can expect from Herbing Jiao a lot of disguised so, so delayed shots she's a master of that beautiful wonderful technique and for me Christopherson is obviously all about trying to get as much back as possible Got 
to that one very, very early. Playing it safe down the centre of the court. Just wide, just wide of the sideline, well left by Herbin Jiao. No doubt that the Dane, she's trying to use her pace and attacking skills to see whether she can upset the favourite from China. And the interesting thing here is that uh, Lina Christofferson was not happy with that attacking clear. She felt it was a little bit too low, but I actually think it was really good, so it forced an error. Call in, call good on the back line. And this time with Christopherson trying a little bit of trickery. I think it's much more important for her to meet the shuttle as early as possible. Her big jar still needs a few more minutes to settle in on court. Oh, that's a wonderful shot. That is awesome. Really, really good shot from her big jar. Lot the placement and steepness in that shot. Really well played. From a textbook point of view, maybe you should have had a little bit more follow-up from that corner. Good awareness from Herbin Jiao. Five. The shot on the back line. Good defensive skills from Alina Christofferson. I really like the follow up from uh, Herbin Jiao. The shot from Christofferson was just too tight, skimming over the top of the tape. Yeah, good play. Good play. So from a very good start from Nina Christofferson. Just wide of the sideline. And now the silver medalist from the, the European Championship. From 2021, she's got to watch out now. Perfect lift from her Binja. And that's what she's so good at. That is sweet. That is really sweet. That's nice. That touch on the shot, you could hear it all the way. Perfect.
got to close the gap, if you look at it from Christofferson's point of view. This is an awesome rally. And that lift landed within the line. But that was a good rally. Not very often you see Herbin Jiang hand on the floor to get one of the defensive shots back. Good anticipation, good pressure. This time from Christofferson. when she won the Japan Open and the French Open. And that's wide. And she has only had one win since 2016, and that was the Korean Open 2019 for Herbie Good attack, that's wonderful attack. Great play. From the Chinese player. Stephanie, good lead here. We have weight of the Gamato. Just seven minutes of play. And here we saw just the replay of the last rally before the interval. Really good play from Herbing Jia. That's really, really good play. Got out of trouble there, Christofferson. And that's long on the back line. Can you believe it? She fought so hard to stay in the rally. Did so well. Played herself into a fantastic situation here. But look at that killer at the net, and it's too long on the back line. Seen from a Danish point of view, that is very sad yeah she likes the way she's playing i can understand she's enjoying it that was awesome play from the dane yeah once again we see how perfect jiao is just slicing that one down on the line That's a very very short action Just so crisp and nice to watch.
She's definitely playing as the underdog, Lena Christofferson. Going for all her shots in the toolbox, and some of them are really working out very nicely. And that's one of another shred of evidence of nerves in this match. Just keeping it cool, calm, collected, keeping her nose in front. Not getting phased too much about the situation. Yeah. Again, here we saw excellent skills at the front of the court. Lovely disguise. Christopherson anticipating. A flat drive on her body. Christopherson doing some of the trickery. Yeah, good follow up. Still keeping a tight ship, Urban Jar. Staying four points ahead, three to four points ahead the whole time. Not allowing her opponent to get close to her and make that five points now. She should have left that one. I don't know whether she touched it or not. No, she didn't. That was wide of the sideline. She needs to go close the gap now. She needs to get close. whether Nina Christofferson actually knew where that shot was going, the backhand. It ended up being more than perfect. Landing before the first line. If you look at it from a Danish point of view, should Gustav doesn't have a chance, she needs to get close. It's taking the last three points, and it's just one point in it now. Yeah, 
good flat skills here from Her Bing Jiao. Christopherson got to the final of the World Junior Championships in 2018, where she lost out to Go Jin Wei of Malaysia in what I would call a big loss, 21-13-21-11, but she has improved leaps and bounces over the last few years. Game point has arrived for Christopherson, 20, game point 19. shot on the back line got to be sure and extra points required 20 all until there is a clear two point margin well anticipated by Herbin Jiao and second game point for Christofferson Long on the back line as well. In the two previous matches that Christopherson has played, she lost against uh, On Chi Swan of Malaysia in three games, and then she won against Rachel Chan of Canada. And that's Game point number three. the opening game. Okay. 
når du går ned i her, så skal du lige mærke det. Altså, det, det. Jeg synes faktisk, det er rigtig fint, at du bruger smasken. Ja, du skal bare så kan du ikke noget på den. Så kan du bare så spiller vi noget på den. Du behøver ikke sige noget om det der med løft, det var det. Nej, jeg ved godt, hvad noget det Ja. Det er dårligt. Men det er Det er det. Altså, vi siger, lige før jeg hellere vil have, at du spiller den for flat, når vi lægger lidt ned under, end vi, end vi spiller sådan lidt lige lidt løft. Ja. Fordi vi har også fanget nogle gange derinde. Ja. Æh, især på Ground the Heaven. Præcis. Ja, ja præcis. And there's the game point. The attack down the line from Christofferson. Forcing the error from Herbing Jow. Number nine in the world ranking. She did so well at the Tokyo Olympics when she got to the semi-final. She lost out to her compatriot Chen Fei in three games and then she lost the playoff for bronze against the PV Sindhu of India in two straight games. Jowen really needs to stand a little bit of authority on this match. Yeah, that's good. Good return of serve. At the moment, she is far too reactive rather than trying to be proactive and controlling the rallies in terms of pace. But the Dane is relentlessly attacking. wide of the sideline. Shot after the next pumping those two attacking clears and setting up a weaker response from Herbin Jiao and then of course it's opening up that cross-court opportunity which Christofferson takes so well. But Herbin Jiao really has to start upping the pace, using her skills, add on some pressure. Trying to get Christofferson to the net. Play shots like that, downwards, forcing 
Christofferson to play shots from below the tape, which is never too easy. That was one of the rallies I expected Herbin Jones to play. Controlling it much better. Christofferson had to work extremely hard to stay in the rally. Eventually she came a little bit too ambitious on that shot of the net. Again, one I was alluding to, perhaps Herbin Jones should try to draw her opponent towards the net to front of the court. Herbingyal played with good length. She was a little bit in trouble on that forehand at the front of the net, but the lift very perfect towards the back of the court. Christofferson got a little bit impatient. are coming from the racket of Christofferson. Nine, Almost a similar situation as the one we had in the opening game. And this time, of course, it's very important for Herbie Jar to hang on to that lead. Setting up a five point lead at the mid game interval. 11 6 up. Yeah, the Danes are acutely aware that they got to watch out on the front court. Wide of the sideline.
That's a very, very nice block shot. And that one is pushed wide of the sideline. And now Christofferson really have to watch out. Five point gap. Herbig in the picture standing a little bit more authority on the match. And that's commentator's curse because that was quite a simple mistake. That's in. Cannot, to, cannot afford to make such wrong judgment. It's simple points giving away. for a challenge. It was definitely up and it was a good chance to take from Christofferson. Using her height, which is clipping that one down. Good attack and clear from Herping Jiao down the line. A shot Christofferson did not anticipate. I think she was really focused on the front court. He forced into error. Good placement on the forehand side of the body with that smash coming here and then see a quick follow up at the net looking okay, very very determined now 17-11 up well, well, very good aggressive return of serve from Christofferson Cross court. Excellent.
nice reverse shot. It's very big shoes that Herpingal and Chen Yifei have to fill when we're talking about the Olympics. These big shoes they've got to fill. Gong Chao won the Olympic gold in 2000. Xiang Ning, sorry, in 2004 and 2008. Li Ray, 2012. Then it was Marin winning in 2016. And then Chen Yifei really played well in Tokyo and secured yet another winner from China in the women's singles and that's wide Surely we're treated to a third and final game. And this first time I'm asking for Herbin Jiao, taking this a second game in fine style, 21-13. Og lige nu, så bliver det lidt en anden ting, hvor ja. der er nogle af dine løfter, rykker du på dem og spiller lige op i luften. Ja. Og så kommer du alt for langt frem. Du kan sagtens bare starte med at stå i mig og ned over det. Det er det, helt kære. Så må du godt lige at lægge strammen og rykke dig selv. Okay. And this, the final rally of the second game. Yeah, drive into the net from Christofferson. Closing down the net very well. Look at how she's standing there waiting for it. And uh, Bing Jiao, she knows. Didn't have many more options but to play back at the net. Good pace from Herbing Jiao. The lift is long on the back line.
don't think Herbin Gal had sussed the drift. She knows that Christofferson is standing on the fast end of the court and is leaving quite a lot on that back line. Yeah, that was a surprise shot from Christofferson. Herbin Gal never anticipated a smash would come from that situation. Caught by surprise. Never let down your guards. Oh, that's excellent. That's a wonderful save. What a good save cross court there from Herbin Gial. Christofferson is doing all the right things. But nevertheless, it's coming back. It's coming back with interest. reaching it so early, it's giving her many, many options. And now Christopherson really has to watch out that she's not becoming over eager. Challenge, so surely it must have been landing right on the line. Close the gap. She was six, three down, now it's six all. Seen that on a number of occasions in this match. It's working out very well when she's slicing either cross or straight up to the backhand size side of uh, Christofferson.
Full square, eight all. Nabinjao having to dive for that one. All in vain due to the fact that the quality of that cross-court shot from Christofferson was so good. Very tight. Hoping Jiao really find it tough to follow pace, but that one is going wide of the sideline. Christofferson chasing Herbin Jiao around in the court in that rally. But she survived very well, Herbin Jiao. Good fighting spirit. Never say die. Love that attitude. Lovely skills down the line. Yeah, it's worked on a number of occasions that return of serve from Christofferson. And uh, quite a lot of points. And that was the, one of the things that she discussed with her coach in the interval. And with the smallest of margins, Herbin Jao goes into the interval with a lead of 11-10. This is a very, very tight affair. I expected it to be a good match, but I never thought that Christofferson already was that high up in the ranking. She, I know she's 23 now, but this is by far the best I've ever seen her play. Eleven ten, the mid-game interval in 30 minutes. She can't afford to, to make if Christopherson wants to win this match. Good play. Yeah, a little bit relieved from that. Two good points for Herbing Jiao after the interval. Always very, very important to get a good start. 
after the breaks. And now we have the first challenge from Herbin Jow. That's called out of the back line. First challenge of the match. And it's definitely out. Good call. Line jump. So the solo, 11, 13, play. So the solo, 14, and we've seen that 11. shot on a number of occasions. Almost every single time it's a winner. It's something Herbin Jar should consider at uh, the sharp end of this match. Once again, Christopherson is closing the gap just to one point now. Fighting spirit this time from Lena Christofferson. the back line and that's something I think Herbin Jar can use to her advantage intercepting and really see whether she can score some cross court winners call in now we have the second challenge this time from Christopherson. So both players have used the challenge. Been unsuccessful, one each. Always important to have a challenge left towards the end of a game. And that's what I meant. Christofferson is pushing a lot towards the back of the court. And some interception could be really good for Herbing Jarl. And this was a perfect example of it. Simple error. Return of serve. Mistaking that was the score in the opening game. 18-14 in favour of uh, Herbin Jiao, but now it's 19-14. And if you're a Dane, 
his fan, then of course it doesn't look too good now. That's why it's called in. I can understand she's challenging. Whether it's in or out, she's got to go for it and hope because 2014 is definitely not a healthy situation looking at it from a Danish point of view. And it is out, so that was a good challenge. arrived 20 match point 15 for Herbing Jiao to bring China one lover in the time against Denmark but she had to work hard for it she had to work very very hard for it Herbing Jiao Yeah, she's delighted with the win. 21-23, then 21-13, 21-15. In a match very close to an hour. 57 minutes to be precise. But what a very fine performance from uh, this young dame, who is improving leaps and bounces every time I see her play. Urban Jiao proved to be by far the most experienced. She kept it together, she was cool when it really mattered. And she put China 1-0 up. It's never easy to play these team matches when uh, all the responsibility of your teammates is riding on your shoulders. Here we've got the match point. And that is going long on the back line, that lift. And Herbing Jiao just thrilled and delighted. Next match. Coming up is uh, the first women's doubles, Chen Chen Chen, Chai Yifan, silver medalist from the Olympics, against Amelia Melon and Freiraum.
and we are back in August for the Thomas and Ubercott finals 2020. And we have this magnificent view of uh, this stadium. And as you can see on your left, it's just the football pitch where the local team EGF is playing. And we are getting ready.